Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to draw hyperrealistic apple with charcoal pencils. You need some basic materials for that. Let's get started. First, I take a 0.5 HB mechanical pencil for drawing in the outlines and Camlin charcoal pencils. You can use any other charcoal pencil also. Then an AW eraser for highlights. Then a couple of blending stuff and then brush for blending. That's it friends. Let's get started. So here we go i am just starting from the first because usually charcoal drawings have more dust while drawing and blending so take time and start from the top so you you never smudge your drawing friends use layering technique because that is the only thing which is going to help you in in your realistic art i use layering technique from a while and i found it is the best because it will never going to smudge your drawing or look like patch and patch or anything like that and it will help you definitely it will help you and i'm using a couple of things for highlights mainly for good highlights basically i'll use needable eraser for my highlight because i didn't have a mono zero eraser so i'm complementing mono zero eraser with a needable eraser then friends, I am using a white glass marking pencil and a white gel pen for my highlights. It is very cheap and you can afford it easily and use of it, it, it is also very easy. If you don't have a white gel pen, you can go with your correction pen. You can see in the drawing friends because it is much slow drawing as compared to the last tutorial I have posted. So you can follow this easily and these drawings will help you to get better at drawing because friends, the things which are very tough to draw is never going to help you to get better at art when you are a beginner. Understand this first, Don't if you want to get started with drawing, first get started with the basic and basic things. That will help you a lot in drawing because if you start a tough work at the first itself, you will get bored easily. But if you start a easy drawing which is going to be good like this, it will help you to develop a lot than the drawings which are tough. Because you will never get bored at your artwork and you will be so happy to see the results quickly when you start a drawing. But if you are a person who is trying the toughest drawing at first, you will soon get bored and you will get tired soon so you are never going to learn the things which is going to be so happy. So friends, my advice to start with the basic drawings like this and these are very very important stuffs to learn shading and lighting and other stuffs like contrast and other things. So if you want to get better at drawing, just start from the beginning. That's it my advice friends and yeah you know that i am a self learner mostly i am a self learner i am not a complete self learner you can see that in my drawings so that's it friends you can see all these things i had added two layers and blended it then i here i am doing the third layer with a soft charcoal pencil which will be so dark you can see here I am following the reference picture as like the same you can see the highlight the main highlight at that place in the left top corner and the edges are not dark notice that friends your realistic artwork will never look realistic until you got over of your outlines because outlines will totally damage your artwork and it will got your artwork to a 2d look not a 3d look so focus on shading and before focus on shading you want to get better at your skills on outlines because if you are an artist or if you are in drawing if you're doing drawing for a long while you will be better at your shading skills but if you're not good at your outlines your drawing will be look like a caricature None of the realistic artists will like to have a caricature. Here we go friends, I am blending the last layer, nearly the last layer and I am going to add the highlights. I am removing the dust 
on the background with a needable eraser it might be so helpful for you and i'm using a white glass marking pencil for the highlights and blending it again so it will get a smooth finish and it will have a nice look because highlights will never have or never been in the pure white maybe in some highlights or the main highlights hey friends our drawing is in a realistic look you can see here it is realistic and i'm adding the shadow for it friends i noted a one point for every 3d drawings each and every 3d drawings want a shadow for it to separate the background or to give the depth of field if you are a photographer you might know this or if you are an artist you might know this because depth of field between the subject and the background is very important it will get you the 3d look and i'm using a white gel pen for the dots so yeah you know that right each and every apple will have spots on it and i'm drawing that alone and again blending it that's it friends here our drawing it is complete and i'm going to share it hope you find it easy and friends if you try this out just tag me on instagram or send it to me on instagram i will see it on twitter too that's it friends this is our tutorial and if you like this tutorial please give a thumbs up and share with your friends who is inter interested in drawings yeah friends if you are new to this channel please subscribe and join with my lovely youtube family and if you have any suggestion in our channel just leave it in the comment section i could see it and i will make tutorials and videos according to it yeah friends once again if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and join with my lovely youtube family and share this video to your friends who is very interested in drawings stay safe and stay healthy see you bye